Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I wanted to do a video regarding head-to-head -head comparison between 1.0 Miner and SRB Miner. Since SRB Miner recently just re-enabled their NVIDIA support for Dynex, and let's see what they got. So right now on my Octo 3 rig, it's my NVIDIA 30 series rig, we are running 1.0 Miner version 1.2.5, and this rig has two 3070 Ti's and six 3070s. You can see the hash rate that we're getting on them right now. Uh, slightly more on the 3070 Ti's, uh, about 4.38, and everything else. All the 3070s are getting 4.285 or 4.3 even, roughly. Let's switch over to the shell. And we can see here on 10 Miner's log file that the efficiency for the 3070 Ti's it's about 45 in between. The EVGA card definitely sucks a little bit more power down than the Zotac does. Now, all of the 3070 cards, they're running around the mid-50s on average. We can see our power consumption, which we're going to verify in a second. Um, we're doing a core clock at 1500, memory clock of 5001, and an offset of 255. We look over here, ignore those. Those are just uh, fallbacks. The flight sheet, there it is right there. Core clock of 1500, core all set of 255, and memory clock lock of 5001. And it's telling me 781 watts over here. It's telling me only 663 for some reason in the software. I don't know why there's such a discrepancy on NVIDIA. Let's go over to the PDU and get at the wall numbers. And we're doing right around Let's just say 780 watts for that rig. So with those baseline numbers, let's switch over. Let's go to flight sheets, just Dynex. And right here, Dynex SRB minor NVIDIA. And you can see we're doing the exact same clocks. GPU core clock lock at 1500, offset at 255, and the memory clock at 5001. Let's go ahead and send it. Wow, now that is a nice jump. We went from 4.3 kilohash per card to 5.176 on the 3070Ti's and 5 kilohash even basically on all the 3070s. The hash to watt ratio, oh my God, so much better. Instead of being in the mid 40s, that would average out to what? 58, 59 hash to watt ratio on the 3070Ti's. And the straight 3070s, we're talking at least 70, big jump. And the power, at least software reported, is 595. And we gained about 6 kilohash. Also, we're going from 1.0 miner, which has a dev fee of 3%, and SRB miner that has 2.5%. So we save a little bit more there, too. Uh, let's take a look. See, it's telling me 783 watts on Hive OS through the Octo Miner at the wall. Octo 3, we're only pulling 715 watts now. So we saved about 60 watts. Now the weird thing too is not only are we getting more hash rate, less dev fee, less power, we're even using less chips because remember correctly, one zero miner on an eight gig NVIDIA card is doing about 448 chips per GPU. This one did it in like 414 chips. So it's not even uses, using as much memory as one zero miner and it's getting better hash rates. I don't know how he did it, but Dr. 83, the dev for SRB miner, spot on buddy. Yeah, you definitely came back punching. This is a great upgrade, an update to your software. So that's all I really wanted to share with you today, um, at least at the current time of recording. SRB Miner for NVIDIA GPUs on Dynex Solve is the clear winner. Let's see if 1.0 Miner can come back with another punch.